Well, it's day, a little blue hot rod. <clears throat> Finally got the snow cover off of it. Today was going to be the new guy's second day. And he called off. He said he was sick. So, we're going to go up here and we'll move a little bit of brush and grab a little bit more brush and trees. We'll just drive the Chevrolet today. I was going to get my skid steer, but considering I got to cut, considering that I got to cut everything, I'll just take the Chevy. We might go get the skid steer. If I can get to the top of the hill here in a little bit and, and make it to there, then I may, I may run back to the office and get us, uh, we'll get the, uh, Dodge, the service truck. We'll grab a service truck, trailer, and go get the skid steer. Do I need anything out of here? I think I got it. Any yeah, I don't need anything. I got fuel. I need fuel. Um, <clears throat> yeah. So, I will get I ain't gonna burn any brush today. Um, that's what we got going on this morning. Um, Tuesday, new guy called in, said he was sick. So let's uh, let's head down here. We'll go to Sheets and get us some donuts and coffee. Breakfast of champions. Breakfast of dirt champions. Yeah. We'll run down there and get us some donuts. Get up there and get the machines fired up. It's a beautiful day. Golly, it's beautiful. So, hey, you can see the blue skies. Uh, heard a few birds singing when I walked out. Snow is melting off. It's melting off in the daytime and the nighttime. It's supposed to get some sunshine after a while. Uh, I mean, I... I'm feeling it. Got 24, 24 more days till spring and five days till March. So, uh, I mean, it's, we're getting closer, folks. We're getting closer. Um, you guys stay tuned. And I made a, I, made, I put out two videos yesterday. One of them, shoot, I know what I meant to grab. I'll turn around and go back and get it. I'm going to go get my tripod. I got me a, uh, I bought me a tripod for my GoPro, and it come in according to my tracker. Yee that's ice. According to my tracker here, it come in. So let's go back here and grab it, and then we'll get back out on the road and get going where we're going. There, come. All right, guys. We uh, we got here and got everything fired up, got everything warmed up. We're on our way back up to, uh, I'm on my way back up into this holler. Uh, it's warm, but it, it's still, like it's cold enough that there's still ice. There's a couple pretty bad slick spots on the way in here. And uh, there's some ice. There's some ice here on this uh, on this road right here that I'm traveling on here. You can uh, see that. So. But I, it feels so much warmer, so I'm guessing it must be like the the winds must have picked up, which I know they did because I could hear them uh, hear them last night, hear them this morning, early this morning. So uh, uh, yeah, so it's 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 kind of warm. Slow that thing down, at least while I'm talking. It's not like I'm shivering. Uh, it's pretty warm out there. Uh, I'm real. I'm real eager to get this thing started. It's just there's so much that gone mud. Oh my golly! It just it seems like it's never gonna dry up. Like there's no possible way this stuff can dry up, but it will. I mean, it'll eventually it'll dry up. And it'll get back to normal, but uh, we're just gonna have to bear with it, and bear through it, I guess. Uh, we need to get up on this hill. We need to get all the way to the top of the hill. Let's get all the way to the top of the hill. It would be awesome to get up there by lunchtime. That way I can go out and meet with the Amish 
and get my uh, quote from the new shop. We gotta get that paperwork in up there to uh, up there to the, to the bank this week. It's gotta get up there to the bank this week. So we uh, need to get that in, and uh, that way they can start working on their end of it. So we can get that new shop started, hopefully. And uh, let's get uh, let's get this job here going pretty good to where. Uh, we can kind of like get all the brush and stuff off of before the burn ban comes in effect March 1st and uh, that's next week so I need to be burning brush I need to be burning brush there hopefully tomorrow it's supposed to rain a little bit um, it's supposed to rain a little bit which is going to kind of be bad but there ain't a whole lot you can do about it I thought about throwing a pipe in this creek right here so I can try to dress this up so we can get in and out of here a little bit better and I still may end up having to do it I, the, the job didn't call for a pipe in there. Uh, I, I probably could just throw me like a piece of 12 inch or something, anything in there for right now. Just throw a piece of 12 inch in there just to get the water under the road. If it, you know, if we don't get it out, we don't get it out. I mean, it's $125, but it'll save me a whole bunch and uh, just time and effort. I need to get this water you get this water dried up. I got a lot of water coming down off this hill and it's running down these tracks and it's just keeping this area soaking wet. So my plan was to get some of this brush and stuff out of here. Um, and I really just, my plan was to uh, to redirect that water over into that holler. I could dig a, dig a pretty good deep ditch down through there and, and let's redirect that water into the holler down over the hill uh, back that way. Uh, that was a plan. That I had in mind. Then um, we got to get. Let me try to move around here a little bit. You can see this is our road going up to the top of the hill. Uh, I got to try to get. I got to try to get all this. I need to clean my windshield. I need to try to get all this here grow up to the top of the hill by lunchtime, and then we're going to try to. We're going to try to move out, move and go get the. Let's go get the skid steer. We can stop at the lot. I got the back of the lot so we can load the grapple bucket onto the trailer, bring it over here, and then I can take the, I'll just drive the excavator out to the roadside and uh, we'll unload the grapple outside there. Man, I'm stuck. So anyway, um, let me get up out of here and I'll try to get y'all some outside cab footage, a little bit better cab footage today. Well, this is up here. I've been up here about a couple hours. I've been up here for a couple of hours, grubbing. I gotta cut that one up, get it out of the way. Uh, top of the hill is right up there. Let me see if I can find that. Should see a banner or a flag. Somewhere right in there, somewhere there should be a orange ribbon. That's the top of the hill. That's where we start clearing for the house seat. The house seat. Is a pretty good sized project too, but it's all mostly flat. So if I can get up there, man, I can really make hay. If I can get somebody to come in and swamp. Um, I'm at a dilemma right here. I'm, I'm gonna go up here and look at this again. I mean, this ain't gonna be steep by no means, but I can't build any of this up. I don't wanna build any of this up. So I wanna just make it a nice gradual pull. And I'm getting right there to behind my excavator and I've got it tagged out. I've got it tagged out to go to make a right and go up the hill right there. That's how I've got it tagged. But I'm just not liking it. I just, I'm afraid that it's going to be a daggone, like a steeper spur in the road. And I'm just kind of afraid of that. It just ain't, I mean, it ain't going to be steep. But it's going to be, I'm afraid it's going to be a little bit more of a rise in it than I like. I like for it all the grade to kind of just flow together and it be just gradual but um look at all the ice uh so i'm gonna walk around up here for a few minutes and make sure that that is going to uh please my expectations and i'm just afraid that it's not i'm afraid that and i may have it going out through there i can't really remember i can't get past that i gotta get my saw and get some stuff here cut up but uh, we're making we're making some headway. I mean, I think if we see, we're going to fill that in down there behind my hoe and right there at my hoe. I'll be raising that up about six feet, four feet. 
Well, probably four feet to flow out on toward where that root ball is sticking up. And I can cut all my feel out of this. And I, I really think that's gonna make a nice, a nice transition down to this lower level. I don't know if I can gain any more if I come out into here or not. If I just, if I'm gonna gain any, gain any worth, worth the additional move. Regardless, it, all the, it's gonna to have to be filled in down there about the excavator in order to make this transition. And that's what's throwing me off. So if I fill that in down there and raise that where my excavator's sitting at, I'll raise that up. And that will give us, because there's, there's a good 100, 150 feet that's almost level from my excavator past my excavator right through that way. It's about 100 feet, 125 feet anyway. So I'll have plenty of transitioning to get this to actually be up higher. So I think we're, I think I had it planned out the right to begin with. I think I did. I was kind of questioning myself, but I think I got it planned out right. So we're going to roll with it. Let's get this stuff out here. Let's get her top of the week. Every week, Jay, so. All right. We got a, we'll see the dang old sun. It might block every bit of your view. I may just have to wait. I got to get, get my house turned around here. I'm still working within my, still working within my lines here that I, that I went through and marked. Um, and you got that sun ball right in your eyes, same as I do, don't you? Uh, oh, man, you should have heard that thing whip. Them old beach, them old beach sprouts are that gone tears, man help none and I kind of get a little bit sun blinding every now and then and I get disoriented for a second. Let's get that spot down there. I'm trying to move you guys around. I know, I know, I've got my tripod. My tripod come in and I'm just, to be honest, I'm just too daggone lazy to set up my camera. I need to get my camera set up there. And I'll tell you now too, anything that, unless it's a really short clip, anything that goes on that GoPro, it gets, it gets uploaded separately. Because I ain't got the patience, and I need to get me some. I need to get me some uh, better editing for my my computer. I've got my wife, Miss K. She is on that today. I told her. I said, "Fine. What do I have to have to make some videos efficiently?" I, I said, I'm, "I'm dying here." I said, "Between uh, trying to get them off my phone. I mean, I, I mean, it's easy. The easiest way for me to make a video is to do everything on my phone." Then I can just go through my little phone app. I've got like a little video maker app in there, about, I don't know, 15 minutes. I'm done, it's uploaded, it's resaved. Go over on my YouTube app on my phone, uh, hit, you know, add video, click, a couple clicks. You know, an hour and a half, I can have a 30 minute video uploaded and I'm done. GoPro footage? Oh, mercy, it takes forever. So I know the key to it is having some kind of a video editor. So I, I got to get to work on that. And Parker Wade, he he referred me to one, and I and I, I could go back through my comments and find it, and uh, I could go back through my photo, or my shoot, my comments, and I could find it, and then I'll put it on there. But uh, I'm just having an awful time here juggling. Oh shoot! That light's killing me. Um, so, I'll come back after you in just a second. Right in here, we're, we're not, really don't even have to take any of that. I'm want, I'm, I think I'm going to want to go ahead and take that pine out. But I really got to open up an area here to land them. I got two, you'll see them here in just a second. I got two small pines and I got that big pine right there beside my bucket. Them right there's got to come out. I'm just trying to get this stuff opened up before I put anything else bigger on the ground. I don't have a swamper. I gotta get out and swamp myself. So I try to get about four or five things on the ground, then I get out and swamp. Get this here picked up. Yeah, this looks a little long. Let's break him one more time. There you go. And wad him up and thoroughly him in a pile. That's basically what I do. If I'm not, if I ain't got the camera going, I don't talk to myself. I don't want you guys to think I'm some kind of nut. Even though every now and then, 
I do need expert advice, so I ask myself, but that's pretty much what I think every time I grub, is every action I'm actually going over my head and selling it in my head. Them little elm sprouts right there, them right there are some windshield busters. But if you're grubbing, make sure you get all them little things out of the way. Do not leave any of them little pieces of brush sticking up. I've got a foot guard on my hoe, okay, and I uh, never did make the doors. Another reason why I need a shop so I can piddle in the garage in the wintertime and make me some new guards. I gotta make me a guard for my roof, and I gotta make me a guard for my cab, uh, cab posts. Uh, but uh, you need to make sure you get all of them little sprouts out there. Don't leave any sprouts behind. Them daggone things, they, they, they will cause some serious havoc. Try to break that again. Try to pinch him. Yeah, pull him down here. Put him behind that pine. Drag him around. There we go. This little poplar sprout, I think. Poplar maple. Oh, man, I've seen some maple. Maples are, uh, they're starting the, the first stage of budding. By the way, they're starting starting the first stages of, uh, of the bud, which I think so I got some friends that make um, they make uh, uh, shoot maple syrup, and they they hate to see that. They said because it'll it the tree won't give them any more syrup, so you have to in, in the end that ends your uh, your process. So, sorry about that, but I want the springtime. I I hate the tree losing your process, but I'm ready for my spring, and so is everybody else. Little ash, little ash tree right there. Look at that, that's an ash tree, and it's and it's dead. Ash bore beetle done got into it, and it ain't no bigger than your arm, and it's, it's dead for them ash bore beetles. I've seen a few ash trees that still survive. Uh, they're not very big, but I've seen a few. Uh, I try not to take them out, but you know, if I usually find them, that means I'm right there at them, they're in my way. So they're typically they're gone. Okay, I'm gonna cut you out because you ain't gonna be able to see a whole lot from here on out anyway with the sun in your eyes. I'm gonna I'm gonna do my best to get you guys some more outside cam footage. And I may I even got a tripod now. The tripod, one of my tripods did come in. So I'm gonna get my phone out there. Maybe do a I don't know if I'll do a real time or if I do like a elapsed time. I kinda like those quick time footage that I see this stuff every day. I kind of like those the best. Guys, stay tuned.